All right, on this adventure day, we're hitting a brand new field. Never been hit, right, Rick? Never been hit. Where you been hiding at, Rick? Y'all remember uh, this guy right here? A little, little wintertime work. A little wintertime. We got Rick out again. We had to wake him up and get him out, but he's out here today. We're going to hit him up right now. Stay tuned. All right, my first target over here was a piece of cane slaw, but I got something round in here now. I don't know whether it's a coin or a button or what here yet. Let's clean up, check it out here. Where's my water when I need it, man? I need to start bringing some stuff. That looks pretty slick right there, like a button, maybe. Whoop. Uh, I don't know if it is or not here. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, I think it could be a button. But, uh, eh, I'm thinking button. What do y'all think? Looks like it might have some design on here, but I can't tell. All right, we'll clean out when we get home and check it out. I just had like an 18 down there. I just dug it out. I see something right here. I'm not sure what it is yet. Let's check it out. All right, looks like it's uh, definitely brass, it looks like. It's definitely got some kind of design on it. Let's see, if we knock some of the dirt off of here. Oh, I think it's a ring. That's a ring right there. That's pretty cool. It's like somebody's initial on it or something. That's awesome. I think it's an M, maybe. Pretty cool. I think we'll have to clean that out and straighten up the back part of it and see if it's got any kind of uh, maker's mark on the inside. That's cool, though. A ring. All right, well, me and Rick are still hunting this here. You can see there's a lot of brick in here. Little broken up pieces of brick, you see it right there. But it's also some rocket you see, but I am getting some iron hit, so I think it was a structure here at one time. If you walk around here, you can see more brick right over here. You see it right there, right there. Little pieces all in the, in the soil here. And I am getting some iron hits, like I say, so I think it was some kind of structure here at one time. We're gonna hit this area up a little bit and see what we can get here. All right, let's check it out. All right, we got several fields we're going to hit in here, so we're going to head down to a second field see what we got down there. We're just kind of checking everything out right now. Stay tuned. We'll see what we get down here. All right, check this out. I just got a hit by the 18th. That's a good number. Let me dig that. I look down and look at that. It's a button sitting right on top of the ground. Clone your button. Oh, look at that. It's got some gold gilt to it, too. That could be a military button or something. Let's clean up. Put a little bit of water on it. Oh, look at that. It's an eagle on it. I see an eagle. I think. Right on top of the ground. That's awesome right there. Nice. I love it. All right. I see something right here. I haven't pulled it out yet. But it doesn't look like can slaw. It looks round. Oh, I think I know what it is. Y'all know what that is, right? That is an umbrella carousel thing that separates all the bands from the umbrella how about that i haven't found them in a while see if i can clean it off enough to show you, show you there it is you should be able to see it now yeah that's a pretty good find i'll take that rick you been digging anything buddy uh, a lot of modern bullets and one wheat penny one wheat penny we like wheat pennies can wheat. you get a date off of it i did not ah could be a 1909 vdbs you never know. <laughs> Alright, we're going to check out Rick's uh, Weedy here. We like wheat pennies. Nothing wrong with wheat pennies. And by the way, there's another guy hunting in the field right here. Y'all might know him. We'll go check in with him in just a little bit. You know him. Stay tuned on that one. Alright, Rick, let's see that wheat penny, buddy. I'm digging. Alright, there's Rick's Weedy right here. I can't quite... It's pretty good shape, but I can't quite make out the date. We'll have to check that out and clean up. Alright, stay tuned. We'll find out. All right, Charles, digging up some finds. He's got a, a couple flat buttons in there, but he just dug a nice buffalo nickel. Look at that. He 1919. actually read it. 1919. You know, so many buffalo nickels, you can't read the dates on them. Yeah, I mean, you're lucky to find one. You can't read a date on a buffalo nickel. Good job, man. Put it there. Keep it up, man. Let's keep putting it up. All right, Charles, so he's got a surface find here right there. Can y'all see it? I'm going to get down close. See if I'll see it right there. He thinks that's a clay marble from colonial days, probably, right? Yeah. Oh, you hadn't pulled it out yet. Let's check it out. Come on, man. Ooh, look at that. It is a clay marble. Good eye, man. Holy smoke. I can't believe you spot, even spotted that thing, man. That's pretty cool, man. Good job. 
All right, we worked our way down to the shoreline here. I'm checking all underneath these trees. And it's got some nice clay right there. So I like that. Nothing will be deep in here. I'm not getting any hits. And it uh, looks like that could be a pile. And I don't know. It might just be treat. But we're looking in here. Like I said before, you always got to keep an eye out for snakes. So it's warm, starting to warm up. The sun coming out. They could come out any time. Right, we're going to cross over a few spots right here. Let's get up here. All right. Let's see if we can't get over here. Check out some areas over here. All right. Hang in there with me. I'm always in here looking to it, the rocks. Because, of course, Indians are always around here. Easy could find like a stone axe or arrowheads, pottery. Anything like that here, too. So, always got to keep your eyes open for anything. All right. If I get any hits, I'll let you know. We're going to keep working here. All right. Working way down the shoreline of this property. I see a nice, cool looking plate right here. I don't know how old it is, but it does have. Looks like it's got a name on it. Let's check it out. Alright, I can't read it. We'll have to take that back in and see if we can't find a name. Looks like it's got a horse, horses next to it, so that looks pretty cool actually. Alright, we'll check that out. I see another piece of pottery down there. This might be a looks like it could be a old dock down there too. So we're gonna walk down there and check that out too. Alright, let's do it. Alright, down here in the water's edge, I am seeing some brick. See that brick, brick. And maybe an old dock right here, I don't know. It's, pretty, it's definitely an old dock, but I don't know how old it is. That's a question. Brick up here. Definitely some uh, metal pieces in here. I think it's just, just giant chunks of metal right there. Some pipe or something. But, you know, definitely some activity here. Uh, there's an old tree right there. Look at that tree right there. That's an old tree. I like that, too. All right, we might actually try to access the property up by that old tree, maybe. All right, let's give it a shot. Sean found a really cool relic. I love that, Sean. I've never found one of those. That is an old pipe, 1800s? 18 to 1900s. Reed That's pipe. pretty cool. That's awesome right there, man. I like it. All right, Rick had to take off a little early. Got a little work to do. And Sean and I are hitting the field here, hunting down. He's digging something right there. What do you got, Sean? Copper wire. Copper wire. All right, well, we're going to hit this field a little bit. It's the first field I found a ring and a flat button in, so should be some more stuff here. And we should, If it's here, Sean will find it. Right, Sean? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Here we go. All right, Sean's got me in training. He said we've got to hunt this field until we find this nice iron sight, and we just hit it. You see how much field we've covered here. We're a long way from Sean's truck down there. I actually ended up driving down here, but it's a big field, and Sean just got a good hit. Check it out. We think it's a coin, but we can't tell what it is. It's pretty worn out, but he says it's definitely a coin, it looks like. It looks like I could see a, a, a profile on one side, so we'll have to clean up so we can get off of it. But I think it's definitely a coin. Pretty cool. And it's a lot of brick in the ground and a lot of iron right here. And that's what we're looking for, right, Sean? Here's 83 right here. 83 right there. All right, stay tuned. No telling what we might have here. All right, I think we're definitely on an old colonial site. I'm not sure what this is yet, but I see it down here. I bumped it too, whatever it is. I don't know what y'all think that is. I don't think that's a shoe buckle or something. It's definitely old colonial type uh, thing, I believe. Made of brass, it looks like, or copper. Pretty cool looking, though. Anybody know what that is? Comment below. All right, we're going to keep digging them up. All right, Sean just got a hit, and we can see the very corner, oh, of something right there, and it's round. Button or coin, possibly. What we got here? Come on, bust it out. Ooh, it's nice and round. It's a button. I think I see the tab on back. Tom back. Tom back button. Nice. That's a nice one too, man. Yep. It's got Pretty. a floral design around the outside. Oh, it's got design on it too. Cool. Man, we've hit we've hit the pay dirt, man. Let's do it. All right, this site just keeps on giving. Check it out. A nice, beautiful. I hit it right there, but brass uh, rain guide, horse rain guide. Look at that. That's beautiful right there, man. That's a nice one. All right, this site is really producing. All right, let's keep getting up. All right, we got us another button. Check it out. It's got some design on it, too. Looking good. John's over there. Still digging on something right now. This whole area's got a lot of iron in it. Brick, little tiny piece of brick and glass on the, on the ground here. So it's a really, really old site. 
Uh, Sean says the brick's so small, little tiny pieces. That's probably been, been a long time since anything was here. We're still getting some targets and still digging them. All right, let's keep getting up. Sean called me and said, I got a lot. I got a silver. I got silver. But when he dug it up, it's a uh, general service button, probably from what? World War? World War One. One, right there. That's pretty. That's a good button, man. <laughs> Got wrong with that. I thought it was silver. It was screaming. I just had a super high number, like a 30. That's, that's going to be good. I see it over here. Right Ooh, there. that's a buckle. That's a buckle, baby. I hadn't got it up yet. Let's check it out. Uh, that's a nice buckle. What do you think, man? How old do you think that is right there? We're trying to date this site. We're finding stuff mm -hmm. from... It's a mixed bag. Yeah, it's a that's mixed a bag in here. So that's in the 1900s, I imagine. I don't know. It's could be 1800s there. It's hard to tell. Yeah, man, we're still digging targets, aren't we, buddy? Oh yeah. You like you like this spot? I love it. Oh, he loves this spot. Sean <laughs> loves this spot. All right, let's keep digging them. All right, Sean says he thinks he's got some silver over here. Finally, we can't believe we don't have any silver in this place. All right, brush that thing off. Let's see what kind it is, man. We got to see this. I hope it is. All right, here we go. Oh, some, some there it is, some mercury dime. Are you That's kidding right. me? It's silver, though, baby. It's silver. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. Oh man, it was silver, though. 1927. 27. <laughs> That's the last target of the day. He gets a mercury dime. Ain't that wrong with that, man? Oh, man. Silver, silver, buddy. <laughs> I like it. it. I'll take it. I'll take. All right, Sean just took some silver, and we'll head back to your truck and check this out. Oh, 31, constant, constant, constant. I'm going to go 90 degrees. Oh, oh. 31, 32. Not, it's on one point off both directions. One direction is no points off. I tell you what, that is the prettiest signal I've had all day. All right, let me plug, take this plug out of the ground here. Ah. All right, I hope we got it out that one time. We'll see. We got it out. We got it out right here. That is a pretty signal all day. All right, still in this clog right here. We're gonna bust it open here. Man, that sounds so, I like just listening to that. We got a weedy. <laughs> oh, Sean's over here digging right beside me. We got a weedy. I think we hit the front yard, Sean. What do you think? I think so. I think we might be in the front yard here, starting getting the targets. All right, come on, where is it at? Come on, Silver, show yourself. Come on, it's got to be right. Oh, there it is. It's big. I don't know where it is yet, but it's big. Look at that. It's big. It's not silver, I don't it's think. A big but copper, large set. A large copper, I think. All right, let's get up. Oh, man. I don't know, man. Let's get this right here. Here we go. Oh, man. I hope it is. I'll take it. Man, come on, baby. Can't tell yet. Man. All right, come on, come on. What are you? What are you? It's a big copper. It's a big copper there, baby. All right, I'm going to wipe it off right here. That should clean up enough where I can see it anyway. Man, it's getting hard to say. I think we're going to make it out, but... What do you think, Sean? I like it, though. All right, stay tuned. There's one cent on the back. You see one cent? Yeah. It's a large cent, then. Large scent. Awesome! One Put it there, brother! Nice. nice! Closing the day out my last target with a one, a large scent. Man, I love it. All right, let's pack it up and head on back to the truck. You know you're supposed to be heading back to the truck, Sean. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> Your wife might see this video and know you're not heading right straight back there. Come on. Uh, it's a long way from It's here. a long way from the truck. Check it out. He just dug a nice, good-shaped Indian right there. Can you see a date on it? I see it down there, but I can't really make it out. 1890. 1890 sweet all right we got to get out of here all right we're still slowly getting our way through the truck but if it's a hit we got to dig it don't we got to we got to dig it all right sean and i aren't gonna have to call it a day but sean came down here and found a really good spot here uh, a lot of uh iron and we dug all kind of stuff in here how old do you think this place is sean everything from the 1700s to the early 1900s we dug a little bit of everything we got tom back buttons uh, i think we've got a british coin uh a mercury dime, a large scent. A large scent. So lots of Tom back buttons. A lot of, lot of regular buttons. You know, clone, I guess they're colonial buttons, yeah. right? All these 17, buttons. 1700s. Yep. Man, we got to come back. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> all right, well, I appreciate everybody coming along. Um, we're going to go home and um, he's going to clean all his stuff up. We'll show uh, Sean stuff, and I'll have to clean all my stuff up, and we'll show mine, too, at the cleanup. All right, stay tuned. All right, Rick had to leave a little bit early, but Sean and I kept uh, hunting around, and Sean found us a nice little home site, and we hit a lot of good relics at it. Let's check out Sean's uh, relics right here. Check it out. All right, we're going to start off showing Sean's seven coins he got. Uh, the far left one, we think is an English half penny. Uh, then you got one, two, three Wheaties, uh, a um, Buffalo nickel, an Indian head, and a Mercury dime. We got some silver today. And then right above that, you can actually see that pipe he got. He called a reed pipe and a clay marble. That was amazing. He spotted those two on the ground. Didn't even uh, use the detector them. Of course, you, they won't read anything anyway, but... He's got some good eyes. Um, and here's an overview of everything. He you know with 16 different buttons. And you can see the on the far right side right there, there's a, uh, that general service button from World War I. Um, you also got a rosette. Bottom left side in there, you can see a rosette. That's not a button. That's actually a rosette. Um, it's just, just a big smorgasbord of finds today. Uh, probably ranging 300 years. Way to go, Sean. Sean Wood out out there. But I didn't do too bad. Let's check out some of my stuff right here. I got some golf balls. Somebody in that field been hitting golf balls. Not a whole lot of trash, but it was a little bit of can slaw in there we got. And a couple of, like, brass pieces and parts like that. But we ended up getting into some stuff here. I, I'm going to need y'all's help with some of this stuff because I don't know what a lot of this is. Like this right here. Check it out. I don't know if that's some kind of great. But it's definitely got some design to it. And, uh... They went to some trouble to make it look like that. Uh, I think that's just a furniture pull, like on a drawer or, draw or something from an old piece of furniture. I think that's a rope guide from, um, probably, it could be colonial days on that. Uh, this is an unknown, another one. Uh, it looks like it's got this rotated on something right here because it's got two things on the end. And this is actually beveled down until it gets smaller. And it's pretty heavy, heavy, heavy bronze right there. Anybody got an idea of that, let me know. Uh, this is an umbrella, umbrella thing right there. Carousel, I think they call them. A uh, couple uh, rivets for some um, leather right there. We all know what that is, a harmonica reed. A couple D buckles, one small one, one big one. I got another unknown right here. It looks like it's got a piece here where it would maybe open and close a, um, some kind of outlet. But look at all the design on that thing. It's brass. Part of, I know this part of his brass, but underneath is uh, it looks like a steel pin going through it. And I'm not sure what the rest of that's made of because it's kind of coming apart. Maybe some kind of uh, pewter or, or, or lead or something. I'm not sure. But it's kind of kind of definite design. Don't anybody got any idea what that is? Let me know. I'm getting all kind of colonial stuff. Not sure what they are. we got a lot of buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons. Uh, this is my best one right here. I'll put a picture up here on the side. Uh, Sean says it's an 1812 uh, U.S. Navy button. If anybody has anything, uh, comment on that uh, differently, let us know. Comment down below and maybe give us a link to where we can find if it's something different. I think this is an underwear button. They got two little holes in it. A couple more buttons here. Uh, this one right here, I think it is. It is, uh, it's got some stars on the front of it. And I'm not sure. I'll put a picture up there on it. Not sure. Is that. It looks like it could have an eagle on it with stars. Not sure. Y'all have to let me know what you think about that. That's pretty cool, though. And a couple more, just some flat buttons here. And this one actually has some design on it, too. And hopefully y'all can see it right there. I think that's just a, just a regular button, just like this one. A little design on that one. Um, also, we got this right here. It's a ring. And uh, it's got, it looks like to me like an old English M. If I'm, I, I don't know, but if anybody knows what that might be uh comment below and also let me know how old you think that is how old would something like that be i don't know anyway comment down below and we got a large scent you can see the one cent on back there but the front's kind of eat up pretty bad so i'll put a picture so you can at least see the one cent but i, I was happy to get that i got that perfect daggone signal on that i knew that was gonna be something good don't know what this is another what's it it's solid brass it's got a couple little rollers on it, like, you know, maybe it's set on something. Don't know. That's kind of cool, but not sure what that is either. Another unknown, too. A piece of china. Uh, looks like the uh, British coat of arms, I think. 
Uh, I'll put a better picture up there on the side of it where you can actually read it, I think. Uh, Droit, I think it says on or something. Anyway, anybody got an idea of the age of that? I would really love to know the age of that so we can kind of date the, the site that this was found at right there. I did pick up a turtle shell, save it for a school, donate that to them. Um, anyway, pretty good, man. A nice group of finds, right? Look at that. That is a nice group of finds. I'll take that any day. How about y'all? That I love that, man. It's, we, and we only hit one house site in that field. There's a second house site we didn't even go to yet. So we definitely got a lot more potential in that field. And we will definitely be back. So y'all got to come on along when we get back out there. All right, well, stay tuned. We'll be heading out for another adventure tomorrow. And uh, appreciate everybody coming along. Don't click, forget to click like, comment, blow, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. Thanks for coming along.